Hey everybody! I'm back! I'm back! Yeah, I was all right. How are you all keeping? Oh, I was gone for a while, wasn't I? Oh, boys. Oh my god. I promised you an explanation. I'm still keeping kind of low about it, but... Let's break that today. There was a murder. And the murder happened um, in the town where I live. And what happened was, um, now, there was one man, I won't give their names, but there was one man and his girlfriend living together, okay? The guy started to drink and she left him, okay? And she met a guy at work and she started going out with him, okay? Now, even though she was married to the other guy, she couldn't live with him anymore. So she um, moved out and moved in with the other fella. Now there was kids involved as well. So um, the kids of course went as well. So he became infuriated. infuriated. <laughs> he started getting really mad at her. And he, he was getting very abusive to her. Very violent and all the rest of it, and um, would spend his time drinking, and he lost his job, so he took it out on his wife's new boyfriend. He missed his wife's new boyfriend, okay, now I'll call him the accused, okay, he missed the accused outside his work and beat him around the place, and here she can out. He beat him around the place, basically, and the other guy was, he was scared out of his life. And because he really didn't do anything, you know, your woman decided to go off with, with him. And her husband was very mad. But you see, the thing is, when he was sober, he was okay with it. He was wishing them well. He understood why she had left him to go out with the other fella. So, um... There's a lot of details, so I'm just going to really cut it short because I could go on for an hour telling you the whole story. Like, but anyway, fighting began. Now, your one's husband broke the accused front windscreen, the windshield, like on the front of the car, in anger, and threatened to have the kneecaps of the accused fella broken. He also threatened him with his life. He threatened his wife. He said that I'm going to kill the husband. Or, or sorry. He said I'm going to kill your new boyfriend. But I'm not going to kill you. Because you are the mother of my children. So things escalated. Things went out of control. Um, and the accused fella was threatened by a particular group of People. Now, I can't say who they were, but there was a lot of them. And these people are very, very dangerous. And they're still out there to this very day. Now, what happened was, I was I heard that some of the details of jurors was given out, was leaked to the public, and to these people. So, anywho, what happened was, um, they were having a party at, at the house one afternoon. And um, now, the accused fella, he, he wouldn't park outside the house of the, of the woman's husband because he didn't like anyone parking outside the house. And he wanted to keep himself, he wanted to keep himself out, out of trouble, keep out of the way of the, of the other fella. So, um, now, a couple of weeks later, a couple of weeks before all this, um, after he was threatened with his life, and he paid money as well to these people that threatened him, because they got his phone number, rang him up and said, um, a thousand euros, we want a thousand euros off of you to be left alone, for us to leave you alone and not harm you. So he gave them the thousand euros. They sent his special delivery person to collect the money. And... Um, then they rang him the day after and they wanted um, another 300. Now these people are living in my town at the moment, like, 
so I might not leave this video up for very long. So, anywho, this just went on and on. Anyway, that afternoon, himself and the accused for that and his girlfriend, the, girl, or the girlfriend now was your man's wife, um, they parked a little further down from the house and she, went, she wanted to go in and get um, two of the children to bring them home, bring them away to the, the new place she was living with the accused for. I hope you're with me now on all this, lads. Um, if not, just watch it again. Um, so, uh, she went in to collect them, and she got them. And she was leaving the house, and um, her husband followed her, and he was very drunk. And he was roaring and screaming at her. 